All right, another question. The altitude in ISA where a task of 480 knots equals a Mach number of 0.82 is. You're given three different options. So in this question, let's put down, down the parameters here. You have a task of 480 knots true air speed, which is the speed of the air over the wings in Nelvin conditions. And that equals Mach number at a particular altitude. Now, if you look at the equation of Mach number, and for reasons why, which we have very well explained in the uh, under under Mach meter, uh, Mach number is the ratio between true air speed and the local speed of sound. We know that it's basically the ratio between TAS and LSS. And LSS is 38 decimal 95 or root of temperature. In Kelvin. This means that local speed of sound, the speed of sound in general depends upon the temperature in Kelvin, absolute temperature. And for that reason, at different altitudes under ISA, because of lapse rate up to 36,090 feet or approximately 11 kilometers, we know that there is a lapse rate of 1.9 or 8 degrees Celsius per thousand feet or 2 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. And for that reason, every given altitude you have a unique temperature under the ISA system. Right now, since your speed of sound depends upon this temperature in Kelvins, it's, it's more appropriately called as a local speed of sound because it is locally correct. Right, and here you're asked to find out that particular altitude where a task of 480 knots will correspond to a particular uh, Mach number. Now, let's consider a small or a, a kind of a very, very steady climb, like say, for example, a cruise climb or something. Let's kind of assume an aircraft is climbing all the way straight now. Practically, we always climb at a constant indicator at speed. So we have seen that in detail in the performance session. Uh, but for the for the benefit of this particular question, let's assume we are climbing at constant TAS. This is not really going to be helpful to us because the indicator at speed is going to progressively reduce because of a reduction in density and hence the dynamic pressure. But for the sake of this question, as I said, let's assume a climb at a constant uh, TAS. And you can see the airspeed indicator coming down all the way. Right? So when you climb at a constant TAS uh, all, all the way up, what happens to your local speed of sound? You see, when, when you actually climb, your temperature keeps on dropping because of lapse rate. And for that reason, your local speed of sound, since this, it is directly proportional to the root of temperature in Kelvin, also drops. So if you take Mach number, which is a ratio between these two, TAS as well as local speed of sound, for a constant TAS, For a constant task, as your local speed of sound reduces because your altitude is increasing, the Mach number is going to increase because the denominator is becoming lower and lower and therefore the entire fact fraction builds up. Right? So the Mach number basically increases. Perfect. And therefore at different altitudes you would have different uh, different Mach number. Now in this particular question, you're asked to find out that particular altitude where the Mach number would be 0 0.82 corresponding to a task of 480 knots. So what we are trying to do here is we are basically trying to find out the local speed of sound corresponding to a TAS of 480 knots and a Mach number of 0 0.82. And since we know that the local speed of sound depends on temperature using the relation 38 decimal 95 root of temperature, it's very important to understand that it is in Kelvin. If you go back to the previous video, uh, we have a similar type of question. And if I know the local speed of sound, then I can find the temperature in Kelvin. And then if I kind of remove 273 from that, I will get temperature in degrees Celsius. Right? Let's dive into the question. Let's first, first find out the local speed of sound. So Mach number, let me put the equation once again for you to kind of revise in your, in your mind. That is, that's right, TAS by, that's right, TAS by LSS. Right? Now from here, we can find out the local speed of sound. Let's find out LSS is equal to true air speed divided by Mach number. The true air speed is how much was it? It's 480 knots. Sorry, 480 knots divided by Mach number. And the question is given as 0 0.82. Let's compute this real quick. 480 divided by 0 0.82 will give you 585 decimal. 3, 6. Let me kind of keep the unit, uh, the decimal places intact for now. 585 decimal 36 is the speed, uh, speed of sound. 
right so generally the speed of sound at mean sea level on dry sea conditions is 660 knots so you can see how at a particular higher altitude the speed of sound is reduced to 583 to 536 that is because of reduction in temperature now we have the basic relation here local speed of sound which is equal to 585.36 knots is equal to well we have the equation 38.95 this is 3 sorry root of temperature in kelvin now let's see how this can be solved now i i would really prefer to explain the individual steps of this because i know there are at least 10 percent of you out there who struggle to solve uh, linear equations equations with one variable right root of temperature in kelvin is 585.36 the 38.95 goes to the denominator right therefore temperature in kelvin is equal to 585 divided by 36 divided by 38 decimal 9 or 5 the whole square i hope so much of a step is clear to you let's find this out 585 decimal 36 divided by 38 decimal 95 and then square of that so we have an x square function which is available in your calculator in a scientific calculator so make sure you can use it and then you will get the answer as 225 decimal 85 remember it is in uh, Kelvin now if you remove 273 from this because all the lapse rates are all given in degrees Celsius not in Kelvin so if you remove 273 from this you will be getting minus 47 decimal 14 degrees Celsius you see the basic relation is temperature in in Kelvin is equal to temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273. Perfect. Now we are asked to find out, we are asked to find out the altitude where the temperature would be minus 47.14 degrees Celsius. So indirectly you are trying to tell, uh, find out the altitude where a task of 480 would correspond to a max number of 0.82. Right. So let's find out again the condition is ISA here and we know that under ISA conditions and only under ISA conditions we have a lapse rate which is reduction in temperature with height of 1.98 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. There is nothing wrong in taking 2 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. I'll keep it more precise here. Under ISA conditions the mean sea level uh, temperature is 15 degrees Celsius and every thousand feet you lose 1.9 degrees Celsius. At what height will the temperature amount to minus 47.14? That altitude is the is the answer. Let's find out. So 15, let's take the altitude we are looking at as h. Therefore, 15 minus 1.98 degrees Celsius for every thousand feet, which means this is h divided by thousand feet. Uh, remember, this, a bit of met knowledge is required here. And that is equal to minus 47 decimal 14, which is the final temperature. Now, again, I would like to st solve this step by step because it's a linear equation. Therefore, 1.98 by 1000 into h. I've taken that to the right hand side, and that becomes 15. And minus 47.14 comes to the left hand side, so it's 47 decimal 14, right? Now, h is equal to, let's solve this equation, it becomes 15 plus 47 decimal 14 which is 62 decimal 14 multiplied with 1000 because 1000 goes in numerator divided by 1.98 which is equal to into 1000 divided by 1.9 I have a very thorough knowledge about your scientific calculator because it can be extremely helpful and therefore you are expected to know it 31,383 feet is the answer so at an altitude of 31,383 feet, 31,383 feet, you will be having a Mach number of 0 0.82 corresponding to a um, task of 480. Uh, now, so look at the options here, 29,000, 31,500 and 34,000. Uh, definitely you can round it off to 31,500. Let's go back to the answer here. So if I have to round off, I would round off this to 31,500 feet to match with the answer. Therefore, Bravo is the answer. I hope this question is clear. If you have questions, do drop in the comments and I'll get back to you.